It is time. It's time for a special CEO Castle edition of the Lightning Round. Chris, everybody, as we're taking calls about the party, you say the name of the stuff, you say the name of the stuff, and then the lightning round is over. Are you ready? Ski down to the lightning round. Chris, got Tom in Connecticut. Tom. Hey, Kramer. I have a position in Cleveland um, Cliffs. Do you consider CLO? Whoa. CLF? A buy holder. A buy holder. Why can you? I, I would. I would cashier that. Cashier that and buy the stock at Newcor. I want you to trade up. Let's go to Kevin in Texas. Kevin. Mr. Kramer, first time, long time. Honored to speak with you, sir. Okay. Thank you. Same. I'm retired, living off dividends. I saw this stock had a 12-year history of uh, stability and paying good dividends before the pandemic. So I bought the stock during the pandemic when it was on its way back, back up from the trench. But now I'm down 67%. Should I sell or hold Chimera? Chimera should be sold. That thing has just been a terrible stock for a very long time. And it will probably remain such. Mark in New Jersey. Mark. Jim, what's going on? Oh, Almost a year ago. Don't quit your day job, today, my friend. You no. called the top in gold, and sure enough, it crashed all the way through October. Well, I was wanting to get back into gold, and I wanted to ask you about Newmont Corporation. I think you got horse sense. I like Newmont here. Gold has been through the ringer, and it has come back on the other side, and I think that is a good stock, Don. How about Quinn in Florida? Quinn! What's up, Jimmy Chill? I want to talk a little bit about quantum computing and AI with you. Uh, so quantum computing is always okay, five years away. But IonQ is claiming that they are on path or even ahead of schedule to reach a real quantum advantage in computing by 2025. Now, with the beginnings of the AI bubble beginning to form, is now a time to start building a small position in quantum computing? Okay. I know quantum computing is going to happen. I know it's big. But you know who's going to be solving it ahead of everyone? It's be Jensen Wong from NVIDIA. That stock's coming in way too hot to tomorrow's quarter. If that gets hit, then I want to buy, buy, buy because of quantum, not just because of what he's doing in generative AI. And I'm not done yet. I'm going to Barry in California. Barry! Hey, Jim. How are you? I am good. How about you, sir? Good. I'm Barry from California. I'm a first-time, very long time. And an early subscriber to the club. Love. How can I help? Uh, in fact, France and I met you in Redondo Beach on Saturday. Anyway, I'm calling you about shit. S H Y S. I don't think. Last mile delivery. Last mile delivery. I am still going to suggest that you go with G X O over this company, but it's interesting, Spec. If we had talked about it when I was signing them bottles, I probably would have said, you know what, respect, I think it's okay. And thank you for coming to see my wife's uh, production there. How about Natalie in New York? Natalie! Natalie, speak to me. Come on, speak to me. Hi, Jim. Thank you so much for taking my call. What are your thoughts on Oracle stock? I think it's still too high. I think it's coming down a little because this market's gotten real ugly. I want to buy it below 90 if possible. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the conclusion of the Lightning Round! The Lightning Round is sponsored by TD Ameritrade. Coming up, is real estate headed for a reckoning? Kramer takes you to the top floor next. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.